I don't oh there we go <laughs> it works it works it works ah okay already then everything is updated Let's quickly check There was some update for uh, cargo ships, I think. Cargo ships, cargo ships. Uh, fix, yeah, mostly fixes. Fix that oil uh, rig power pole could be mined. Uh, crash when uh, another mod changed offshore oil into a solid resource. Wow, okay. And uh, so you can still pip it a waterway even when big ghost if no items available is disabled. So that's good because for some reason that is set as default or that is disabled as default. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's jump into it. Okay, a uh, quick recap, um, we spent the entire uh, last stream uh, building up um, our, our rocket silo construction site. Yes, uh, and we went from stage one to stage two, it took us four hours to do that, which is uh, crazy. Um, and also, uh, you know, while that was happening, uh, you know, we designed some blueprints. We were, we were still productive. So we figured out how we would want to, you know, like a train to ship transfer. Uh, we figured out our, uh, uh, you know, base hexagon thing, right? Uh, and yeah, maybe this needs to be slightly bigger. This look, this seems a little small. Eh, you know what? Eh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we'll get back to it today. Uh, there were some issues with that. Uh, so we'll do that today. Uh, but for now, uh, we have, um, wait, what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. So we spent the last episode, uh, you know, um, doing a few things, uh, while our, uh, rocket silo uh, was constructing uh, one is we set up this new uh, thing for uh, iron right we were running short of iron constantly so you know we set up another ship and we set up another um, sea mount our dredging platform for uh, ferrous nodules right this is our first ship coming in uh, full of uh, 80 containers so it should be able to fill up not a problem now um, and this is powered this is everything uh, the other thing that we did was we did we did a few minor things mostly uh, so nothing major uh, oh wow wait uh, these are all done we can finally remove uh, our local copper mine this is done yeah 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 cleaning up
Wait, what is this one? This is still uh, copper, right? So, sure, why not? Yeah, okay. There we go. Um, yeah, that's that's mostly what we did, and uh, uh, yeah, and we got to and towards the end of the last stream, uh, we finally got to uh, stage two of uh, rocket silo construction, and in stage two, now we have to supply it materials, right? So in the stage in stage one we were getting like a shit ton of uh, uh, stone, right? And in stage two now we need to supply it with steel, with iron sticks, stone bricks, and concrete. Which is basically you know we'll, we'll we'll have to process the same stone that we got all the way to the base, and now we have to sh process it uh, and ship it back, right? Um, so yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna set up today. Uh, and uh, and then maybe we'll get back to some other stuff right while that happens so now there's no uh, further shipments happening uh, to this guy uh, all of I think I think we have four uh, where is it shit ah it's still yeah it's even farther uh, we have four of these guys uh, stuck here they're looking to fill inventory uh, but that's not gonna happen because yeah uh, so what gonna what we'll have to do is we'll have to add this uh, dock as well to their uh, schedule so they come here they will deposit uh, their contents and then come here and they will fill up with stone and then go back that's the second stage right right okay wait why is ah okay they're waiting on stuff never mind Cool. Uh, in the meantime, uh, to speed up the process of the building, uh, we still need to build more of these, and uh, they're dependent on titanium, right? And they're not getting any titanium. Uh, they're kind of stuck at you know each one of these cargo aircrafts take 500 titanium plates, which is a huge amount. Um, you know what? Uh, stop. 200 is fine yeah yeah we have enough landfill now um, I think I think titanium is a kind of priority uh, and we don't have any titanium coming in anymore this is the belt for the titanium yeah this is where it comes in and they, this is how it feeds to the thing uh, if I want to speed up anything I would want to make sure we have uh, uh, more inbound trains for titanium now titanium ship right that the way is the titanium ship this is the titanium ship I believe uh, is here um, and it already has three containers so each time it goes it brings back like what four or five containers either four or five containers it's waiting for one more the problem is that we had uh, three mines over here that's one there was another one around here uh, around here actually and uh, and then the third one is over here so 76k over there this is completely empty now uh, so we can remove this and uh, I think this uh, base can you know 
still operate but we do want more titanium so I was thinking how about uh, looking at where titanium is um, we were also not enriching the titanium so I would want to enrich it on site this time around so we have 948k which is close to a mil uh, right there which is like a decently big um, you know uh, th that's a decently big patch and uh, I think we also have uh, chlorine and other stuff over here so enrichment can happen uh, right here right and we can add more sort of uh, uh, ships to this same uh, patch right uh, yeah so that's 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 something that's one way to do it um, one second yes okay yeah is there any other patch that is available to us there is 86k I don't think I want to go after that one um, 2.6 million and it's not even that far away I can have another and there's you know minimal biters around it so I, we, can, we can clear this area easily uh, and we can set up another one yeah I, th I think this is one mil is good enough uh, for now and uh, we can definitely expand that to this one as well uh, or you know because these are on the same island maybe I can just uh, have like a train go from here to here and then process it here and then ship it this way uh, that will sort of you know save us from building another ship that goes back and forth right uh, so that's one thing that we want to uh, let me make a note of that titanium plates uh, new outpost oh you know what um, maybe I should do that somewhere else uh, new outpost should learn how to spell first and uh, and yeah place that there right delete this uh, I can also delete this and I can say hey you know uh, the reason that I want to do this right now is uh, yeah so the reason I uh, you know moved this tag is because we, we keep sort of you know panning back and forth and the map is huge and this is too far away so I think one easy way to do this is you know whenever we are looking at something else um, we, we can have this open at all times and we can just click and we'll be there right just for uh, yeah looking at it quickly so this kind of helps right um, yeah there's multiple of them there's this four of them I think here uh, okay 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 uh, so before we go after titanium I think we should set this one up um, so we want a pickup stop here right uh, so I'm thinking instead of using those ships to go back and forth should I just use uh, these guys um, the long-range delivery drones to deliver all the materials over there Hmm. Yes, because I think the problem is that every time, every stage, as we progress through the stages, uh, we're on sex stage two. Uh, once we get to stage six, uh, we'll need like a different sort of set of uh, materials, right? And uh, and the problem with that is that um um. 
we'll have to keep changing the materials one uh and two um we will have to uh i mean yeah two this is a one time process yeah two this is a one time process once our silo is built uh we're not deconstructing it uh we're just launching our satellites from uh, uh from here itself uh so we'll have like a ship going all the way from here to there uh which takes you know which will uh sort of carry all the all the satellites with it or maybe you know uh, i can do that with my uh uh long range drones and uh, and then i can bring back the signs right what's the what's the stack size on the optimization no wait what do i get out of the satellite oh satellite needs to be put into the rocket and we get a uh, space research data with a stack size of 100 and each launch will give us 1000 uh, space research data so uh 10 stacks yeah 10 stacks is fine i think i'm okay doing uh ship logistics for this so i can send a satellite satellite is just a single thing right i can send one satellite via um uh you know transport uh uh sorry long range delivery drone and then i can bring back the signs using uh using my uh ships and i can just have one ship going back and forth and i think that should be enough Yes. Because that this is everything that we need out of there, right? And then and then when we bring it back home, we can smoosh it with uh blank tech cards uh which gives us optimization tech cards which go into the labs. Oh, which go into quantum computers. Ooh. So this is made in quantum computers, and uh, yeah, uh, and then it'll be used in a quantum lab or one of those advanced science labs. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it can be used in our regular uh, advanced uh, labs that we are using right now, singularity labs. Yep, I think this is the only one that can uh, process it. So, we can upgrade that as well. Um one second guys, someone is at the door. I I got to take that uh BRB.
toque. Hmm. Yep. Uh, I think it should be easy enough to uh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let's let's set up the input uh, for uh, long range delivery drones. Yeah, because setting these up uh, so th there is a risk, okay? The reason that I'm not doing uh, you know delivery via cargo aircrafts even though they have 20 uh, stacks of items available to them is because um, uh, why am I not doing it <laughs> uh, probably because I am a little uh, Um, skeptical about um, like I want these guys to stop right every stage I will have to change right so I and I want to do that in an easy way so I, I just want to set like a new set of requests and uh, that should just fulfill whatever right so um Yeah, I don't think it will make sense for uh, this guy to, uh, you know, uh, uh, overship, if, if you know what I mean, right? I think it makes sense, kinda. Plus, it's a one-time process, so I don't care, right? It can be expensive, it's fine. It's meant to be, right? Plus, these long-range delivery drones are not that expensive, so, yeah. It is good. Also, also, hey, the other reason was that uh, I will have to dock. Uh, you know, when when the if, if I set those cargo uh, aircraft, um, those guys will have to come here and dock uh, to pick stuff up, right? Um, and then I will have to keep supplying different stuff uh, onto that dock from here, but. Uh, if I just set up uh, long range del delivery drones, they will directly pick up from the mall whatever they need. Oh, by the way, we're out of stone already. Ooh, interesting. We used up all the stone that we were getting from there, which is awesome. Uh, we do have a ton of landfill now. How much is this? 730. So, sure. Yeah. I guess uh, yeah, we have some stone as well in there. Uh, yeah, uh, as soon as we use up all that landfill, there's gonna be you know all that stone is gonna get used. Uh, until then, I think we're good. Instead of this, I can have this placed, uh, and I can have whatever going in, and it's going to be as simple as copying, pasting. No, oh, that's the output. Uh, wait, there is a setting for this. Yeah, inverted buffer chests. Nope. Uh, because this is acting like a buffer chest so I, if I do this now look at that one stack of everything I need perfect 
uh, I also would want to hook this up to water. Uh, good thing is I have water right here. Yeah. So these power generators are already using the water that's coming in from there. So yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now these ships, I'm fine with them waiting here because there is still an output. Uh, at least for stage two, there's going to be an output. So that's uh, 10 stone for each craft, right? Um, yes. Maybe I can double the stuff that I'm requesting. So I can remove these requests. And why, why is this guy bringing stone? Uh, what? Okay, you know what? Um, uh, no, I think I would want it to be in this guy and uh, set requests. One stack each, and then uh, I can have you know, I can double this here. So, 100, 200, 100, and 100. Yeah, I don't know why this guy is calling bringing in stone for some reason. I don't know. When I only need, uh, yeah, The good thing about this is that, you know, uh, when we're closing in on, you know, towards the end, right, when we have close to completion for stage two, I can actually uh, switch it off and it will stop requesting, right? So I'll, I'll do it like slightly before it ends. Uh, and that way, um, you know, we will not uh, over deliver. Now, you guys. Uh, Yeah, let's delete all of your inventory. Uh, no. Why the fuck are they dancing? This is the guy. So this guy is already docked. So that's fine. I'm going to let this guy be. Uh, let's 
stop, please. Um, yeah, I'm gonna send all of these guys uh, back home. By the way, this also means that I don't necessarily need uh, uh, more titanium, right? But I do need titanium, like generally, you know, in life. And no, I'm not talking about the new iPhone. I don't know why uh, I got stone inbound. Uh, concrete is something that we do not have right now. Okay, concrete is coming in. Sure. I think our concrete was like super temporary. It was only in the mall. Uh, let me check. If it's being made. Uh, it needs iron ore and stone bricks and water. The problem with this setup is that iron ore is, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of iron ore. Uh, how much iron? Yeah, that's that's uh, the last of it. That's all the iron ore we have. Five pieces of iron ore. Okay, so we're a kinda out of iron ore. Stone brick is something that we're out of as well. Like this is the belt uh, full of stone bricks. Uh, but the problem is there is nothing. Uh, like we're not actually making stone bricks, right? There's nothing supplying this belt. Yeah, so once this runs out, uh, we'll be out of uh, bricks as well. Now we do have stone here. Maybe I can have like a super temporary. Uh, I can have it here or I can have it here. Uh, this makes sense. This is good. Uh, because stone is coming in from here and then I can, uh, you know, quickly cook it up uh, and have uh, bricks set up. Yeah, good thing is I can do this remotely. One second, guys. back um where's my furnaces furnaces i am not sure if these furnaces can cook uh, bricks uh yeah electric furnace yeah, after uh, SpaceX uh, disabled this, uh, I was was a little suspect of uh, whether it will work. It works.
how many do we need uh i would appreciate like a full belt of it or at least half a belt so two of these is 1.25 per second i think this should be enough yeah six of these should be enough yeah otherwise i can double it double it up easily not a big deal in 16 seconds I think my yellow inserters will be able to handle because of the stack size improvements There we are. Um, Oh wait, no, this is 3.75 per second. What I want is um, 7.5. That's twice of this. Um, Construction mode and Vibrators. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, shit. Keeps crashing, eh? Oh. Oh. Oh, no, it's fine. 
it's fine we have uh, 12 of these and I was just copying this guy to here yeah Oh, it wouldn't paste it obviously there's no reason for it to paste this guy here uh, how about here yeah Awesome. supposed to be another one <laughs> never mind oh yeah it, uh, yeah the fourth guy is here there's only three over there that's good uh Kong Concrete is the problem. So we solved for uh, bricks. We did not solve for iron ore. There's some in here. Uh, oh, there's plenty. There's plenty. Eight hundred. So. Let's see, what's the recipe? One iron ore gives us 10 concrete. Sure, I think this will last uh, a while. Yep. Um, but, but just in case, uh, we have uh, like a lot of uh, iron ore coming in here, which means that uh, theoretically I can ship this iron uh oh i see the bottleneck <laughs> uh i see the bottleneck i'll have to go uh update uh that manually let me also have a think about uh how to get that iron ore over to here in like small quantities right Yeah, we also need for, to solve for uh, the insane amount of uh, uh, copper containers that we're getting. Let me check. So we were already limiting cobalt uh, in a way. Uh, the way that we were doing it was we were reading these belts and pushing it into this guy I think I can do something similar so this is already there I can read this container right so 120 in there and uh, and then over here uh, for the cobalt guy uh, yeah the enabled condition when there's no cobalt and there you know only you're allowed to only in 
push out more until there's no no uh, there's none none of it in there which is connected to this one Uh, and I want to replicate this over on this side for uh, this guy, the copper guy. So let's see. I want to use the same. Uh, network. OK, we have. Yeah, this is the same wire. So technically we can do this and we can say, hey, when copper containers equal to zero, uh, only enable then, right? And then it's reading 120 copper containers in that chest. So when that, once that uh, comes down to zero, it will only enable, it will only unload at that time okay this problem is kind of solved for now uh, until i rip this whole thing up, uh, apart uh okay and we also solved the throughput problem so whatever is coming out of here is going here completely uh without issue As long as this is not a full, uh, you know, fully saturated yellow belt, uh, I think it's fine. Nice. Okay. Uh, now we should be seeing. I don't know where these gaps are from. Uh, all of these are running. Let's check. So all of these are expecting 15 uh, enriched iron and producing 15 uh, iron plates, right? which means that there should be no gaps on this belt but yeah it's not fully saturated all the time uh, that's what's bothering me why would you do that is it an input problem definitely not an input problem and it's definitely not an output problem because all of these are going empty before the next cycle begins except these last uh, the guys in the end which also should not happen like all of this should just unload uh, as smoothly as possible oh look at that this is Ah, that's fine. Yeah, it's not backing up here, so that's fine.
Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is uh, a red belt, a fully saturated red belt that is going in. Splitting into two that are 15, 15 each. Uh, Oh, they are already loaded with. Wait a second. Uh oh. So this guy is producing um twenty two point nine enriched iron per second, which is more than fifteen. Uh, and I'm only processing fifteen. Is that okay? Yeah, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I don't think that's the... That's the blocker here. At least... Uh, wow, wait. What are you waiting for? You can't go to the provider. Which is this guy. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Oh, there's another guy over there. That's why. Yeah, destination pull is the problem. And this guy is standing there because, yeah, there's nothing requested. So that's fine. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think, uh, so, they're consuming 32.4, or 30, rather, uh, and producing 22.9. So, 20. Ish. And this guy is consuming 15. I think there is room for this to expand uh, a little bit. Yeah, I th maybe that is that is enough. Maybe I can turn this to a red belt beyond this point.
slightly faster. This can consume a uh, 17.5 instead of 15. So, eh, you know what? Eh. Not a, not a big deal, but uh, hopefully it helps. <sighs> okay, now on this side, we have... Oh, look at that. Yeah, we need way more iron. I need more iron. Like more, more, more. Yep, yep, definitely more. Should I have another train? For iron. gonna be iron uh, and go does that help uh, no I don't think it would help apparently we already have uh, three trains for iron going back and forth and uh, a fourth train I don't think would help Yeah, all it's gonna do is wait because I'll, I'll pick it up. Thank you. Uh, yes. No, there's two of them. Wait, why would why why? Ah, no shit. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, there definitely needed to be three of them and not two. Let's place you there. Oh. Oh, shit. Uh.
There's one guy over there, there's one guy over there. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's check on the silo. It has built, uh, it has had 17 products finished. Uh, and uh, it's still waiting on concrete. There's plenty of concrete in there. What about bricks? Oh wow, they're still firing cracks. 2000 stone bricks in storage. Should be enough. Are you fucking kidding me? Is it do they're doing it right outside the window. I'm gonna mute myself for a bit. Oh, they're done. Looks like they're done. And we're out of iron. Any ships coming in for iron? Not this guy. Nope. No. Uh, yeah, I'll have to wait for a bit before any of these want to come in. You know what, I think I should go out here and uh, grab some of these uh, containers. There's too many containers in the, on the, the belt over there. Okay, once we sort out the iron, I think uh, the next um, thing on the agenda. Why are you blinking? Cannot divide segments. Okay, we'll fix it. Ah, there's. It looks like there's another uh, rogue waterway. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying, let's fix iron and uh, there we go. As much as we can and then we can go uh, figure
I don't know how much that is. Um, this guy is 53 out of 80, right? So that's uh, 27. Uh, I think these are 27 containers. Hopefully, maybe I can place 10 more. Now these are definitely 27. Yeah, the rest of these can, uh, I can take these back. You know what, maybe I'll uh, push 10 more into the system. Uh, just so when this, you know, when this ship is uh, back home and uh, unloading, uh, yeah, this can you know, uh, this doesn't stop basically. Uh, I can do the same here. <laughs> Should we also do a uh, immerse site or titanium? I have a feeling. Wait, let me check uh, the satellite and what it needs. Charged lithium battery packs, sorted. Uh, processing units, I think lithium batteries, uh, uh, ha uh, take cobalt and lithium, okay, not titanium. Processing units is, uh, I think, rare metals, not titanium. Low density structures is titanium, right? Yep, that's, uh, yeah, titanium. Uh, and then rocket fuel is rocket fuel. Solar panel is not titanium again. Yeah, we do need titanium, I think. Uh, Okay, let's let's go. Um, so there's a few things to do. One is uh, hex block base. Uh, is there no icon for this? Uh, construction. I think uh, hex blocks are mostly solved. We just need to fix some issues before we start plopping them down. Uh, I also want to see uh, how big they are in comparison to some of uh, the the production chains in our existing base. So, yeah, let me let me check that. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are these are big enough. Like even for. Uh, uh, for example, blue circuits. Yeah, this could be wrapped up into two rows and it should fit uh, These should fit these should fit uh, These guys should also fit more or less Kinda maybe I can make it slightly bigger uh, This will definitely not fit. Yeah, this is a lot of uh, big machines um, Yeah, I think uh, maybe I can make it slightly bigger I'm doing it right now because I might uh, forget. So one and two. No. Uh, even bigger. Two more. Oh. The hell. Cut. Cut. There. So it was here initially. 
one, two. I think it needs to be one and two. Now if I take this, go back to my base, um, let's see, now I can, you know, probably fit uh, this guy and I can comfortably fit this guy, I can, yeah, I can basically double the production of some of these things. Right, I, I can also fit this guy in a single row, so yeah, I can double the production of that. I think, yeah, this is a more comfortable size. Okay, okay. Uh, like I said, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much uh, of that. Uh, oh, uh, the ship left, so... Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. There we go. Yeah. Cool. So the hex block uh, we'll get back to. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we need to do signaling and we need to do, uh, you know, we, we need to fix uh, some of the train stop stuff over there. Uh, I think we'll have to redesign it a little bit. But for now, I think it looks okay. Now, um, Construct stylo is happening. Hex block will happen later. Immersite is one thing that we can do now. And uh, if we do immersite, then uh, it effectively means that we're bringing an immersite into the same base, into this base. Um, which means, um, then, you know, we might as well do the immersite researches and we might as well uh, research uh, all of these guys right so immersion processing and uh, energy control units yeah we have all of these things so so once we have immerse site uh, we can do matter tech cards also what do you need you need processing units and matter research data matter research data is rare metals plastic lithium and immerse site yeah we can we, we should be able to do this as well Huh. I guess it doesn't hurt. Maybe. Uh, and then we can start the hex base with these, uh, you know, uh, with, the, with the advanced machines only. Because they all need uh, immersite. Immersium beams. Immersium. And uh, they also need energy control units. Huh. So we'll be so basically uh, we'll be building the end game base, 
right will basically will be just scaling up at that point uh we also have uh uh crastorio 2 extended endgame installed uh as a mod right which is an extension to crastorio 2 which makes this step of uh powering up the intergalactic transceiver way harder apparently right um which means we will have to scale up anyways so that's why i was avoiding building like an intermediate base because we're kind of already there right and immersium uh, or immersite is the only material that we're missing in this whole picture uh but at the same time i don't know if uh immersion beams energy control units matter processing advanced tech cards what is advanced tech cards lithium battery packs uh immersion gear wheels which is just immersite uh flying robot frames we're already making and blank tech cards we already have and then finally to research advanced assembly machines uh ai cores wait ai cores ai cores Oh, we already have this researched, and it needs immersite and nitric acid. Huh. Okay, you know what? No. Uh, let's let's build that base uh, now, before immersite. Uh, yeah, immersite is later. Launch rocket is also later. We have to build the silo first. So I think the only thing that's left here. that we can do right now is a, a new titanium outpost so we yeah that's something that we can pick up today and get it done should be easy and uh, and yeah we can use the same ship as this guy i mean it's yeah uh, we can we can disable this port completely and uh, and build this here looking at you again still missing concrete um 24 yeah so this one is i think the last stage stage 1 of the construction was uh, 500 crafts total right and then it progressed to stage 2 and that was the excavation stage so we were just getting uh you know stone out of it uh in the second stage we have we are inserting required materials uh and uh looking at this we have 24 products finished right and it looks like we are a quarter of the way there so which means uh the total is going to be uh 100 crafts before it uh moves on to the next one the next stage Yep. Okay. Uh yeah, let's deposit all these containers. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, copper ore can. Well, iron on uh, iron ore is something. No, wait. Yeah, I'll just take this home.
Okay. Okay. Uh, before we start the new outpost, I'll be back. Uh, need to hydrate and uh, pee. So, give me one moment, eh? Yeah, I think we're good.
copper are you serious you're telling me we're out of copper of all things oh shit okay uh Why does it want to go there? Uh, oh. Uh, where'd he go? Oh wait, oh wait, we already have a guy, what's your problem, oh shit, uh, manual, no don't empty, wait what, why do you have this, so you will go here, and then here, and then here, and then only when this is done you will come here right, and 10 seconds of inactivity uh, let's see. 5 ok never imagined I'll, uh, I'll run out of copper of all things Yeah, now I remember. Okay. 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 Let's set this guy up. So now uh we want titanium, right? Uh huh. Let me think. What do we want? Well, does it matter what we want? Because we have these uh, delivery drones. Uh,
Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go over here and plan this out. Now, uh, I want to enrich titanium on site and I also uh, want to smelt it on site. Sure, why not? So, I can... Wait. You hear that? What is this? <laughs> hey Red, Red welcome. <laughs> First thing I hear, oh shit, okay. <laughs> With the right place. Uh, uh, enriched titanium is hydrogen chloride, water, and titanium ore. Oh, that's easy. And there's dirty water, and dirty water has a titanium recipe as well. Wow, okay. And we have hydrogen chloride made right here uh, and fortunately I think this is exactly how much hydrogen chloride I need for this entire setup uh, let me check do we have any spare we no we don't we don't we're using up all the hydrogen chloride that we're making uh, which means yeah that's fine that's fine we can we can we but we have the sand and we have other things so we can we can just reuse that setup this is the patch that we want to exploit uh, this is uh, this is close to a million yeah uh, and uh, this time around we can use uh, the big mining drills. Where my big mining drills at? What's up, man? Welcome back. <laughs> we changed the strategy for uh, stage two, by the way. So for constructing the silo, instead of using uh, ships, cargo ships, um, cargo sp uh, airships right um cargo airplanes yeah i don't know what they're called forgot um we're using instead guess what <laughs> long range delivery drones yay and uh, the second recipe uh, produces a tiny bit of stone uh, so 10 stone per uh, craft and uh, it has been 33 craft so far as, as as you can see yeah this is gonna go to 100 it's not gonna go to 500 now so yeah my my uh, um, estimate was correct that this is gonna be 100 and uh, And we're just going to use long range delivery drones and we're going to change their uh, requirements, you know, as and when, whatever, etc. Yeah. Oh, uh, we need fluid, we need lubricant to mine this, right? Uh, that's the that's the problem. That's the problem with this guy. Earlier we were shipping in uh, barrels of lubricant. Uh, but I want to do something better about it. I don't want another uh, ship carrying lubricant because, like, titanium is literally the only thing that needs uh, lubricant and uh, like 
yeah it, it, i mean an entire ship of uh, just i mean sulfuric acid is fine because it's used at uh, in multiple places but for lubricant i don't want like a fluid ship uh it's either going to be barrels or or what or what hey maybe i can have uh, one of these cargo uh planes to uh bring in barrels and then take up take out the empty barrels and go back and forth mm, yeah that's 20 stacks of barrels per per plane so no stain no stones melting still you liar <laughs> when did i say i'll be smelting stone i mean okay like what like i am what do you mean i'm making bricks and uh, i'm making concrete and refined concrete and i'm shipping that i'm not making anything on site for this guy because this is you know once this is built all of that setup is useless right uh so i'm just doing the bare minimum to ship it because this is only a one time thing right at silo yeah i don't want to smelt <laughs> there is no stone produced now like it's producing 10 stone uh, 25% of 40 stones or 10 stone uh, per craft uh, so it's it's way less stone to turn into bricks or uh concrete right so this is just one guy uh you know i i decommissioned uh, all the other cargo aircrafts there's only this one uh, cargo aircraft just standing here collecting stone for the entire 100 crafts and and it's going to bring it back uh also i ended up using up uh, you know i checked at the start of the stream uh all the stone that we collected in the last stage i ended up using all of it wait uh why do i have copper plate over here oh because this is uh uh yeah whatever i i never lied i i i never said i would do that come on um Okay. Um now what do I do? I want uh, so I'm getting let's look at the recipes. So I'm getting uh, raw titanium. Right? And uh, I want to uh enrich it. So raw titanium with hydrogen chloride and water. So I want hydrogen chloride being made. Uh yeah it's very convenient that we have a belt of stone flowing in here uh which is awesome so hydrogen chloride uh, let me check let me double check the recipes on hydrogen chloride oh uh, there's only one recipe that's chlorine and hydrogen and chlorine is made from uh, water electrolysis uh so water and sand in an electrolysis plant gives chlorine and hydrogen and uh huh so i okay i can just copy this setup then let me check um yes it even has like uh conditions and stuff 
for uh, venting. Okay, uh, as good a place as any. How much are you going to produce? You're going to produce one per second. So that six per second is what it's going to produce. Uh, going back here in you, so you don't run away. Um, enriching titanium is done in a chemical plant. Okay, chemical plant, chemical plant, chemical plant. Enrich my titanium, please. This is happening. This is taking in, this is consuming uh, nine titanium in three seconds, which means, uh, you know, three titanium per second. I'm producing six. Uh, this is also consuming 10 hydrogen chloride every three seconds and this is producing 50 every five 50 every five so 10 every one which means i actually that's a three to one ratio right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh, but now these three of them and these three will consume nine titanium ore per second. Right? Uh, and I'm producing six. Plus 30% productivity. Does that make it nine? What is six plus 30%? something 6 plus 30 percent 7.8 yeah fine i think it's fine uh There's two fluids also. Yeah, that works. Why am I so confused about this? I can do it this way. No. Uh, I can't flip it. I 
can reverse these so F there and uh, water can be the one that is closer because water will be side loaded yeah something like that Okay, that's the hydrochloric acid in and then water is also available nearby right here where is this coming from it's coming from this entire Ooh, oh, I didn't check this before or did I the new uh, pipe visualizer beautiful that's the water pipe yeah and I'm already bringing in uh, bringing it in all the way from there so should I siphon it off from there or maybe here I think I should do uh, a vertical have you brainstormed ideas for next playthrough uh, with whom <laughs> I mean uh, uh, not really uh, honestly I, uh, I I don't know uh, I, I mean uh, any any uh, ideas any suggestions you were suggesting uh, some uh, scenarios right and you are also making your own scenario uh, maybe I can play that um, what say I was thinking something uh, with a little more combat was the idea I mean, I'm all ears, man. I was thinking uh, one of the ideas was to play uh, War Drive Machine uh, by M. Ferrari with all the biter mods and everything. Yeah, that was one idea. Wait, why do you not have power? Ah, of course. There we go. Uh, let's figure it out okay so you are producing two things you're producing um, wait let's uh, let's siphon off all the all the dirty water right uh, and let's have a Filtration plant, I think for three chemical plants, I think one filtration plant should be enough. Yeah. So the dirty water goes in and this will produce uh, I can pick the titanium recipe so this will consume 100 dirty water produce 90 clean water and produce stone and titanium right so now the titanium ore 
can be fed back into the same guy so I can have something like this and uh, filter inserter for uh, where is it ah yeah and uh, oh something like that maybe I can uh, yeah move it by one so that way I can have this and uh, wait, let me copy paste something Yeah, this should be good. So priority on this one, but there's no output on this one, so it'll go over there and only, and uh, and it'll also produce stone, and it'll also produce water, and that water needs to go back. Oh, and this consumes water. Why did I forget this one? Uh. Uh huh. Uh, my scenario will 100% not be ready in time uh, that I'm sure of. Uh, didn't you say warp machine was still in development and needed balancing? It has been balanced man. Uh, so it has been out for some time. And uh, there has been a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, feature requests or, you know, bug fixes that were requested uh, on mFerrari's um, Discord. So it's, uh, I mean, there has been uh, like a lot of uh, bug fixes that were reported, right? Uh, like I noticed, I think, I don't know, maybe 20-ish or more, 25-ish reports. Uh, so I think uh, it should be good. Like if I stick to, okay, this time around, I'm not messing with, uh, you know, intermod uh, or inter overhaul compatibility or anything of that sort i'm just gonna stick to stick with vanilla and uh, maybe ai right uh, to make it slightly more interesting because ai has you know relevance for stone also uh, and uh, yeah just ai and uh, 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 warp drive machine and uh, all of m ferrari's mods basically right so RCS and uh, other stuff, basically. Uh, it'll be, uh, maybe not RCS, we'll see. I'm not sure, maybe RCS. RCS has official support for it. Uh, I checked the recommended list and uh, yeah, most of his mods are kinda supported because he kinda made it for his own mods, right? Uh, he basically made Warptorio, but uh, you know, uh, uh, like a proper version of Warptorio. Um, by proper, I mean Waptorio is kind of old and it's, you know, uh, the UI and some of the messaging and everything is a little clunky. So you just wanted to refine those, I believe. You know what, something, I, I think I'll need to do something about the water. The water. <sighs> and, uh, hmm. Yeah, I can't let the water just flow in, simply. It has to go through tank 
with a condition. If everything is less than 5000 only then would you want to push more water in yeah it should stop at 5k perfect and then there and uh, whatever this guy is producing is gonna go up there Does that work? I have a feeling that I will need to uh yeah, push the water out. Cool cool. Yeah, I played an early release and balancing was not there yet. Spent four hours to get six stone furnaces going. That's too much. Yeah, it is a little uh uh um uh, uh tedious uh in the beginning. I think after like I think twenty ish jumps is what I heard him mention. I also did some testing. I, I did some I think seven, eight jumps. Uh wait, you got six stone furnaces in four hours that's a lot isn't it stone furnaces like you get stone in the first uh uh and then one stone furnace is what five stone three stone something like that are you sure you're not exaggerating Okay, now this is uh, titanium. You know what? Instead of pushing it onto a belt, let's melt it on site uh, using electric smelters. Oh wow, this fits. Wait, how does this fit? This isn't this like? Oh no, this is three x three. Okay. And then and whatever comes out uh, will go onto a train and that train will take this from here to there should work okay let's build this Oh, you oh steel. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, steel furnaces. Yep, for us makes sense. Yeah, initially uh, uh, it's tedious, but then you kind of ramp up, right? Because there's biters and there's like the constant jumping. Uh, it's not recommended to play that mod alone, by the way. Uh, M Ferrari suggests that if you're playing it alone, you might want to extend your time uh, uh, per planet. I think by default it's 20 minutes. You might want to extend it to 30 minutes or something like that um, to make sure that you get enough resources every time. Uh, it's usually like a co-op sort of setup that uh, is ideal for that. You know, at least two people, maybe three. The more the merrier, right? Um, because it's very difficult to sort of multitask also like you want to like secure your uh, ship uh, but then you also want to go out to do missions so i'm gonna do that balancing i'm gonna test uh, and see if uh, you know I, I'll, I'll tweak some settings that's that's what i'm what i'm gonna do
yeah but if i have uh, but I, if i if i have a, a partner to play with uh yeah i wouldn't mind at all uh i want to see so this is uh 10 uh enriched wait i want to see the ratio between this guy and this guy uh because direct loading may not be ideal Oh, there we are. Okay, so th it's producing six, but uh, these guys are only consuming. Uh, so six and uh, 0 0.25, 2.5, 3.75, 5. And then there. So I need uh, five uh, furnaces and not three yeah direct feeding will not work uh either uh, alternatively maybe i can uh prods should i do prod maybe i should do speed to match with this if i'm doing direct loading but no i don't think direct loading is uh like gonna get me much So yeah, it needs five. We'll give it five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe even more if we need. Yeah, something like that. Kind of, sort of, maybe, there we go, Some of these recipes are not set, like this one. Uh, titanium. I think this is fine. Of course, of course, of course, the one thing that I forgot. <laughs> lubricant. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ah, uh, lubricant, 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 lubricant. How do I manage lubricant? Mm. 
a dock. Yes, that's what we planned for, didn't we? So we're gonna have a assembly machine right there. Uh, this guy can unbarrel empty lubricant barrel and uh, there and then I can have a dock here and I can have inserters both ways yeah something like that it'll work beautifully and uh, we'll set up the thing here so do I have a, a, an assembler barreling lubricant uh, product yep yep apparently oh it's all the way here and lubricant is already coming in here okay ha huh. let's go back And uh, wait, where do I have lubricant in my base? It's right here. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's let's uh, set this up for this guy. I am going to uh, decommission uh, that one and remove that ship entirely, right? okay so I can have this guy and you are going to barrel uh, lubricants and whatever you're gonna barrel you're gonna provide And you're gonna request simple right and then I can have a dock wait no uh, no I, I want a fixed uh, number of barrels in there No, 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 no. Okay, okay. We'll give it four stacks. Is four stacks enough? Or do I need the buffer? I don't think I need the buffer. I can just move it this way, and I can uh, fill this guy with, you know, 20 stacks of barrels, and it's gonna push that in and uh, and fill them up, just like we did with the batteries. Yeah. Okay, let's grab one of our aircrafts that are sitting idle. Bring them here. Oh no. Can I just... Can I not... I just wanted to come here. I don't want uh, it to set a schedule. Ah, uh, how do I do that? Hmm. 
No, that just orders the other guy. Uh, left click to send Spidertron. I can uh, shift right click to reset this and then assign this to this guy and then I have to do it. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Um, how about you request uh, empty barrels? Uh, 200. They should be delivered. Yes. Wow, okay. Now remove this and, uh, and then let's set up a schedule. So you go here and you fill up. Uh, you briefly uh, go here for uh, making sure that you have full fuel and then you go all the way here and you drop off the barrels so one is uh, item count lubricant barrels what is this? Uh, 100, 200, right? 200 and uh, 2 is fuel full and 3 is item count there. Bingo. See Red Riff, it's not so difficult. <laughs> Wait, what is this belt? Ah, this was some random thing. Okay. I'm gonna sit in there. Uh, I'm gonna hitch the ride. Uh, and I'm going to shift right click to reset this. Uh, let's assign it back to our combat guy so we can call him over. Uh, but Red Riff, other than uh, warp drive, uh, do you have any other suggestions? I'm I'm still on the fence about it. Because I know M Ferrari mods are not like the stablest, uh, and uh, even with whatever you know that I'm claiming that the bug fixes are there, I'm still not 100% on it. So.
uh, alternatively i was thinking uh that maybe i should do like another stream in parallel like maybe alternate days or something like few days or like i, I don't know two days three days of the week and uh <laughs> oh uh oh shit um manual to create a way shift left click to replace the previous waypoint i don't want to replace the previous one i want to replace this one no uh okay whatever remove you and uh, yeah this needs to dock there there we go Uh, <laughs> but I'm still on the fence, uh, to be honest. It's okay. Uh, uh, no pressure. Uh, yeah, so I was saying, sorry, I got distracted. I was saying I was planning on doing something non-factorio uh, for a change. Uh, or at least intermix it, you know, within the week. So I was thinking uh, maybe I should do like a, uh, like a replay of old classics. I was thinking to start with the uh, um, Deus Ex 1, right? And then maybe do the entire Deus Ex series. Or, uh, you know, something like uh, Doom 3. And all of these will be modded, right? So, uh, all the classic games from the 2000s uh, or late 90s. And uh, all of them modded, you know, uh, to like improve their visuals, improve their sound, all of that good stuff, but also uh, gameplay mods that make them interesting. Like for example, for uh, Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution, I uh, and Mankind Divided, I saw um, a mod. I think there's a mod like uh, for both of them, uh, which uh, um, you know rebalances everything kind of. And, uh, and makes it so that uh, by the end of the game, you are not like the superhuman uh, kind of a deal, right? So you cannot get all the augments in the game um, by the end of the game uh, with that mod installed. You have to, uh, you know, your choices kind of matter and, uh, uh, and you will have to kind of pick a direction uh, to mod up your character and uh, um, or you know, and then your augs will basically be so su super. You, you'll you'll be like a super specialized person rather than, you know, having everything by the end of the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not very knowledgeable about combat mods. Yeah, there aren't there aren't many. There's just rampant and infrared stuff. Uh, natural evolution and other stuff is like. Uh, not very popular. I know a lot about production, but I suck at combat myself. Okay. Roller coaster tycoon 2. Yes, why not? Let's do roller coaster tycoon 2. <laughs> 480p. Uh, Tomb Raider 04. Ah, Tomb Raider. Huh. So I was thinking uh, games which are uh, non linear by design. You know, like for example. SX is completely like it's very non-linear right uh, how you tackle like a situation is like up to you in that game so that's that's very interesting to me and uh, I played it played those games like back in the day when I was a teenager and uh, I barely remember anything that's the problem um, in fact uh, I think Deus Ex and uh, all of these uh, you know Dishonored and maybe half -Li some Half-Life mods uh, I've never finished them actually. I don't think I've finished them. 
I never played it till the end. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, I mean, it's it's in my backlog, and I do want to play them, right? So might as well stream them, right? So that 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 was my thought. It may not be entertaining. I'm not sure if it'll sort of appeal to the same audience as Factorio, right? Uh, uh, I don't even know if I should be thinking on those terms. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking what's enjoyable to me, right? Uh, and it's part of my backlog, and I want to do it. Um, whether it's live or not, I will I will do it regardless, right? If not live, I'll do it. Uh, um, uh, I'll do it uh, offline. So yeah, that's the idea. I'd love to come back to the games I played as a kid and actually finish them. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the idea. It sucks, and uh, there's so many mods for them now. <laughs> like uh, there's also, I mean, I I see uh, other Factorio players like uh, Lawrence plays and uh, um, you know they're playing XCOM. I I uh, bold everyone right. Xenonauts, XCOM, Cryodax is doing a Xenonauts to play through. Um, and these are some of the games I like as well. I, I really like uh, turn-based strategy games. Uh, I've played like XCOM uh, 1. Uh, like I think three times I finished it already. Uh, because I was like so... I don't know, I was simp simping. Uh, because I, I, I kind of loved, loved it. Uh, XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, I've played it like a bunch of times as well. I think I've finished it twice. Thrice maybe, I don't know. Um... But yeah, there's some games that I do want to play and I have never finished them. So uh, I was thinking maybe I'd do that. Uh, but that will always be, I think, in parallel to uh, Factorio stuff, right? So three days a week will be Factorio and then maybe two days a week will be those other games. Just to mix things up, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, like, uh, like sometimes Factorio um, feels, especially the overhauls, right? Uh, it feels like a chore. Like to me, it's like, hey, you know, I don't want to be live today because it's very, it's it's boring. So yeah, just to mix things up, that's that's the thought. Uh, but I'll still be doing uh, a factorio run for sure. So ideas are welcome, obviously. Otherwise, I'll just go with the standard. Uh, okay, so all of the titanium that we're producing here, it goes into this guy. And you're gonna pack the titanium up, nice and tidy. Oh, uh, is this off by... no. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Um. Uh. Yeah, something like that. Uh, rain stops. I don't have any on me. Um, train. Uh, um, I don't want to sound rude, but I really think you should do whatever you enjoy the most. Is not that losing those one two factorio watches is gonna make any difference? <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah. Uh, that. Uh, yeah. Wise words. <laughs> I don't think I lose anything. 
Uh, yeah, I I barely have any watch. Actually, yeah, you're right. I I barely have any watchers. Uh, as it is, right? Like it's just you and Brain who join in. <laughs> That's like the breadth of. Uh, yeah, I, I like <laughs> my active viewership right there. So it doesn't matter what I do, right? Like when you're at rock bottom, it, it doesn't matter what you do, right? And it's not like I'm trying to be like the like the like the superstar. I don't know, uh, uh, streamer or something like that. I'm I'm not trying to be that. Um, I'm just trying to uh, yeah. I mean, this is this is kind of a hobby, right? I already have a job and everything. So yeah, I think it should be good. It should be good. I, I I'm not at a stage where I'm thinking about uh, viewership. For sure. So yeah, I, I uh, but yeah, sometimes I think it makes I I do uh, think about it as in I I kind of you know it I mean but then uh, yeah hard realization uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you're right yep so this goes this way this goes this way this will go this way. Uh, and this will go this way. Good, 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 good. Uh, Yeah, I think I can use uh, some more of these guys. Yep. Yeah, I'm just saying there's not much to lose. There's more to gain. You're right. Definitely. Uh, and I, I, I think I should just focus on having fun. Uh, but yeah, with uh, with Factorio, I, I honestly uh, don't know. Uh, uh, I think... Uh, Wait, I didn't. Didn't I have a note? I, I think I had a uh, notes. Yeah, I was I was writing this earlier, right? Uh, how do I? How do you resize? Ah. Yeah, I was uh, thinking about it for sure. And uh, yeah, there's like multiple scenarios that I listed out. Like, what scenarios can I pick? Uh, yeah, this is thanks to your list, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, a bunch. I'll 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 figure it out. I think we're still a ways off uh, from the next one because Crastorio is already like. Even after the rocket, we'll have uh, a bunch more stuff to do, especially uh, since we have uh, extended endgame also installed, right? Um, yeah, extended endgame is part of the game, so it's going to be a lengthy one. Okay. Uh, let's look this look at this again. Ooh, 62 crafts a stage two. I think the one thing that we are kind of stuck on always is concrete and uh, the reason we would with that way is um, Actually, I don't know why we like that Okay, so the idea is uh, when this reaches, I don't know, 90? Yeah, when this reaches 90, uh, I should shut this off. Yep. 
and I gotta remember to do that. Not a bot. Um, so this is a titanium provider, and uh, yeah, should be enough. And I need to give it five containers. Where's my ship? <laughs> I'm very factorial focused, but I also get tired of it. So I switch between modding to playing to watching YouTube videos or joining streams. Everyone is different. I definitely watch some of your Deus Ex playthrough. Uh, thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks for the word of confidence. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Thank, thank you. Um, yeah, but don't worry. Factory is not going anywhere. I'm just gonna add this X into the mix. Okay, uh, hmm. Oh, my ship is still coming in, my aircraft. Yeah, something like this. Let's call for a bunch of, wait, is that the only thing that I'm missing right now? Yes, rails. Let's call for a bunch of them. Um, 100. Maybe 200. There you go. Okay. Uh. This is going to be titanium plates. Um, so this guy is going to stay, right? Uh, this setup is good. Uh, I will only need one more. Wait, where is the main one? This is the guy, the lithium provider. Yeah, so I need another one just like that for
Hey, by the way, uh, Redef, I was thinking, do you have a chef uh, mentioned in your uh, resume? Maybe you get the job that way. This was reversed. God damn it. There we go. Uh, and this is gonna be titanium requester yes why are you manually stopped close uh red rave i i didn't mention it <laughs> okay i will publish an online book with my recipes i've collected in all these years ah yeah that that's going to be good you should, man. Why, why, why didn't you mention it? You're, you're like... It's your passion, isn't it? Cooking. You should mention it. And I imagine you're good at it. Like that's... I'm, I'm just assuming. Okay, uh, yeah, so similar setup here uh, with this guy.
<laughs> I will take that as a compliment. Don't worry, we'll be soon. We'll soon be uh, transitioning from uh, uh, sushi to bento boxes. So now it's gonna be uh, hakka noodles in uh, bento boxes, <laughs> hexagonal uh, bento boxes. Oh wait, uh, is this the other guy? No, 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 no. Oh yeah, this is the okay. This is for the lithium. Uh, that's okay. Oh yeah, screeching. I know bento box is not hexagonal, but yes. Okay. Uh Oh, look at you. No, 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 no. Wait, did they kill their own? <laughs> Explosions. Nice. <laughs> Best guns, yes. Uh Oh wait, uh, did I just do something wrong? Um, yes I did. Yes sir, I did.
Hmm. Oh, uh, excuse me, what? Yeah, okay. How much is left in there? 67k. Okay. Now the problem is that this ship is kind of designed to be for this uh, outpost only because it's also carrying uh, lubricant barrels. Um, Option A, I completely decommission this entire thing and then uh, set up a ship just for this guy. Option B, I have, uh, I rename this stop to something else or, uh, or maybe I rename this one to something else. Uh, I don't know, let's call, let's add a barrel thing here. Uh, and then uh, let's also add a barrel thing on the requester yep There we go. And then, yeah, they could be, they can be another ship. And then I can decommission it once we're done with the titanium here. It can still uh, bring in a trickle. Uh, let's quickly check our construction silo. Uh, we are at 73. And uh, yes, we're still missing concrete. Ah, yeah, okay. I, I I've accepted the fact it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna uh, attempt to speed it up or uh, do anything about it. Although I can, but eh, eh. Okay, so we do have a spot here. Yeah, I do have a spot here. I did make this earlier. Uh, now this one's gonna be very simple. Not Katira, Katiras, Katis Ras, Ras, yes. It's gonna be a titanium. Uh, Requester. Uh, this is titanium, right? Yeah, it's titanium, all right. Titanium requester port. Port, 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 port. There. Uh, let's have a ship. And it's gonna be the same old, same old. Uh, nothing new really.
this and this. And it's going to be titanium uh, containers. Yep. Uh, I can't take this across. And place you. And place. Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Place you. And uh, uh, read train contents is what it's doing. And the condition is going directly to this guy. And it's feeding in containers until we have 80 containers in there. That makes sense. Uh, sack size is overridden to one uh, and then we also want refueling there Rename to uh, titanium. Uh, wait, this is the requester. So titanium requester port. Titanium provider port. Apply. Uh, this is this one. This is that one. Perfect. Um, Titanium plates, boom. Oh wow, wait, what, 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 what? <sighs> Why? Why would you do that? Stop producing more. Okay, uh, now to set up the logistics of uh, all the titanium containers reaching back to base. Uh, so they'll come down here on this belt. 
uh, and then they'll come over here and then they'll flow down and then they'll get deposited into this box uh, I can have another one of you here and set the filter for titanium plates take the belt all the way to the right uh, we do have a titanium train we have a train waiting for titanium containers it's actually this one yep and it's pushing out the uh, empty containers uh, okay so apparently titanium containers are kind of special because we built that first that was the first thing we built uh, the first outpost we built and uh, this is kind of designed for that specific use case which is a problem hmm well i guess it's fine yeah because uh, there's some interlinkages here like i'm taking titanium play, uh, containers off of this uh, this place right here this is going to the titan steel ship so i don't have a choice really except uh Yeah, feeding it into this belt right here and then some of these will get picked up uh, and then go their way uh, and the rest of them will flow all the way down here and go into this train uh, going back into the base yes uh, there's one thing missing still uh no there's okay there's nothing missing so this guy is waiting for five containers and we have a ship inbound right now yeah, I'm gonna bring this back. Uh, or you know what? I think I think we're done. I think we're done with this. We have an outpost. Yay! One more to do. Done. Now let's look at our silo again. Uh, we're at 78. What's the hold up? We're still bringing in stuff, but it's not enough apparently. What's the recipe on this guy? Uh, it's consuming a lot of concrete. Yes, it is. It's con consuming like a lot, a lot of concrete. Mm. And it's not consuming a lot of stone bricks. It's not consuming a lot of steel or iron sticks. Huh. Okay. The ratio is a little off. That's the problem. Which means I should be requesting for uh double of these 200 yeah bring him in boys Seventy nine, eighty. i'm gonna stop this guy at uh at 90 ish wait no uh, let me calculate so each craft consumes 50 concrete right uh, at the point that I stop this it's gonna have uh, 200 concrete as requested right or it's gonna like yeah I mean uh, our drones will be on the way to deliver 200 concrete to this um, So 200 concrete is how many crafts? That's five crafts. Four crafts. Okay. Uh, 
और हाउ अबाउट वेट आई हैव आइडिया आई हैव एन आइडिया वेर इज माई शिप वेर इज माई क्राफ्ट वेर इट इज Actually, yes, I remember what's missing here, and what's missing here is a single sentinel. So let's drop that in, and then uh, I want to go here and I want to set up uh, the requester logic a little bit. Like I want to make it uh, exact. I want to make it as like the same as the as the recipe. Uh, now why am I going there? I can't do that remotely uh, because I want to place uh, an arithmetic combinator. So basically, I'm requesting for let's say you know five crafts at a time instead of uh, you know, and then it multiplies that for me. Simple, nothing complicated about that. Uh, Oh. Oh. Oh ho ho. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> okay, no. Uh uh shifted priorities a little bit. We got to solve this first. the one uh you can't fuck something that doesn't exist <laughs> oh wrong wrong guys uh chain signals so there are signals here there are signals here uh what i was missing was these guys does that help no it does not oh uh Are you going to stop? Wow, okay. Thanks. Thank God. Uh what's your problem? Oh. Ah, yes. Okay, there is no uh Yeah, that's a regular signal and it's free. This should also be green. Or oh. Yep. Uh yeah. Okay. 
That's the one who shows left-hand drives. <laughs> uh, yeah, kinda. I just did left-hand drive because uh, I mean, you you get to have signals inside the the gaps. and uh, because my country has uh, left and drive driving so i'm kind of you know right hand drives are kind of trips me up even though i don't drive why uh, why is there a oh uh okay wait why don't i have uh, modules because i don't have electronic components why don't i have electronic components because i don't have glass because i don't have stone of all things i i had a shit ton of stone wait no uh there's a stop there's a train station this guy what are you waiting for oh uh bro uh Yeah, get out of here. Uh Titanium provider. Um Titanium provider. There's already a titanium provider here. So uh, maybe have a depot. An activity, or maybe nothing. Yeah, go to the depot, and then same with you. That's why the depots exist. Okay, that fixes it. We're at eighty-eight, ninety. Okay, I think we'll be done with this stage by the end of the stream. I'll wait for it. Uh, but let's look at this: twenty, thirty, ten, fifty. Uh, so yeah, twenty, thirty, ten, and fifty. And the idea is. instead of doing this we can have a arithmetic combinator which multiplies that by a static number so each into i don't know 5 each so There we are. Now I'm calling for two fifty of these, hundred of these, one fifty and fifty. And not including what's already in there, so it should even out, right? Twenty, thirty, ten, fifty. Yeah. Uh, 
No wonder concrete was low. Yeah, the ratio was off. Yes. So I was calling for other materials more than I should have. But yeah, I think it's all sorted now. 150, 50, 50, that's what? That's uh, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 crafts. So this will go from 88 to, I don't know, 90, 93 or something. Looking at you, you're still, yeah. Uh, in terms of power, I think we should have, yeah, we have a lot of biomethanol uh, stored up. 50k in each of these tanks. So 600k here, 600k here, and you know, 600k into 6 is whatever. Wow, look at this. <laughs> like each one of these is carrying like one thing. Oh shit. Oh. Oh god. Okay, so we are at 90. I'm waiting for it to go to 95 and then I'll switch it off. And then I'll set the new recipe and turn it on again. That's the plan. I'll wait. There's nothing else to do. Uh, maybe we can fix the hex block in the meantime. Um, the problem with this one was that if we are placing signals this way, something like this, uh, then I cannot have signals here because yeah, this needs to be, all, all of these tops need to be on the un underside of this thing. So, yeah, let's move that and uh, we'll have to do it this way. Why can I not uh, place a signal here? Okay, there are no signals on this entire thing. Which means I should be able to place a signal here, right? No, I don't want it to be this way. I want to. I, I want my trains to go, come in this way, and then go this way. Uh, Oh, now, okay, now I can. Okay, let's look at this quickly. 93. Uh, should I turn it off? I think I sh should. Okay, we're close. No wonder it's concrete. Yeah, it needs to be RHD. Uh, you mean this, right? Yeah, this definitely needs to be uh, RNG, 
you know right hand drive rhd uh because i do not like intentionally i do not want any space between these two rails because i want to uh, stack these you know uh like like this right like this so uh yeah i don't want any space in between so this is good but oh it's because of this guy and this tiny signal that it was not behaving earlier so this needs to be here and uh, this needs to be attached like that uh there we go and now the problem is that since all of my rails are facing in in inside the hex and there's nothing over here uh yeah this entire alignment is uh is screwed up yeah like how will i uh, take stuff out so i'll have to redesign this i guess i'll do this in the next one uh yeah i want to keep an eye on this one first and then i will probably go offline because i'm kind of tired i want to have dinner dinner hungry Come on. We're at 96. So this is going to be yeah, there's going to be two more crafts. <laughs> See, RHD is the right way. I agree. it's the right hand side <laughs> the right hand drive cuz it's the right way <laughs> i totally agree i'm not even saying no Come on. By the way, I never checked. Uh, let me quickly do like a ping. And yes, this is six thousand. Like almost, mostly six thousand tiles to the left of our uh, of zero zero. Yep. Zori said it's gonna be greater than four thousand tiles. right so which means i mean okay if i go right and if i go to this island this is the island that it should have been at this is yeah this is 2003 uh, 2900 3000 uh what is this one yeah this is this is 4000 so i it it is intended it is definitely intended to be there yeah it could like it it has to be beyond this point so uh yes spawned uh, at the, at the at, at at you know at the exact place where it's supposed to spawn <sighs> oh okay uh ha huh. so we're at 98 and uh, we need uh concrete for okay let's set this to 2 and uh turn this on what's the stack size on you 50 okay 
and as that guy is coming here already so i'm gonna turn you off again so we don't call for additional stuff stage three baby Oh, wait a second uh, did we already ship uh, a bunch of titanium wait why is this stopped no hydrogen chloride why not why no hydrogen chloride because we have we don't have enough chlorine uh, why don't we have enough chlorine we have a lot of oh Oh. oh, 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 so this needs to be a thing, apparently. Yeah, the hydrogen needs to be vented. Okay, but um i'm pretty sure wait we should have uh, delivered some titanium yes no maybe should have some titanium delivered uh because why would that ship be going back Unless there's something wrong with this guy. Ah, an activity. Why is there an activity? No, you stay there. Shit. Okay. Uh Go. Steel. There it goes. Stage three. Yes. Oh, yeah. Stage three, baby. Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, f fuck no. Oh, okay, this guy can auto target. That's the good thing. The bad thing is. Uh... Oh, that was good. Huh, why would I manually aim then? Auto targeting with gunner, yeah I can I can enable that. I'm 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 good with that. Uh but now the problem is Wait, okay, you're full. 
But then why wouldn't you move? Oh, yeah, because you're not full. Ah. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. How do I uh, structure this? What do I say? Uh, no, I can't say item count. Um, time passed. 30 seconds, 600 seconds, 5 minutes. Sure, why not? Uh, can I do an OR? No, I don't think I can do an OR. Uh, inactivity. Yeah, inactivity is good. Inactivity of uh, 5 minutes. No. 2 minutes is good. Uh, but for now, yeah, I'll set you manually. Okay, so the third stage is excavation again. Excavating stage, removing stone. But it's not just removing stone, it's removing some coal, iron ore and copper ore. That's the problem. Yeah, you can have that. Oh shit. Okay. Uh Huh. A good thing this is off. Uh Okay, yeah. Good time to end the stream. Perfect time to end the stream. Right there. <laughs> this is a problem for future me. Uh, but yeah, this is just more waiting. If you know, if anything else. Uh, I mean, uh, just yeah, it's, it's just gonna uh, poop out more stone and other stuff, and it's just more excavating and and then uh, stage four is something I, I think that will need materials again. So yeah. Yeah, we're, we're prepared for that. That's okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks for dropping by. Uh, cheers. Good night. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Uh, and bye-bye. Cheers.